there, it's me Chriselle, and I'm back here again today with another video. This has been a long-awaited one, I really hope you guys get something good out of it. So let me know what your favorite self-care um, methods are, and without further ado, let's begin. Make yourself a comforting drink. This could be tea or coffee, something warm to soothe the soul. Uh, for me, that's what is important at the moment because it's winter here in New Zealand, but for you, if you live in a country where it's summer, you might want something cooling and refreshing that is still comforting. making a comforting drink after a long tiring day to help you calm your nerves. Something else I really like to do on an evening after school is to just stare out my window and just watch the clouds pass by. It's something that brings me a lot of peace, personally, and I think it's good especially if you have something just, or maybe a lot of things on your mind, looking out the window and just forgetting about it for even five minutes, just to breathe and focus on your breathing and be a little bit more present. Here comes one of my favorite things, which is to listen to some comforting music, some soul comforting music. Something that just brings me to a whole different world, a different space of mind. Uh, and I have multiple playlists like this. Uh, if you guys would like, leave it down below in the comments if you would like me to list some of my favorite comforting songs. I'd be more than willing to do that. And if you guys have any good recommendations, also leave them down below. I'm always ready to look for some new ones. Take time to do something that you love. Um, for me, that's painting and drawing and also just watching YouTube honestly <laughs> brings me a lot of comfort and fulfillment. So take the time to do that. I think sometimes we get really caught up into our work and our assignments for school and the very practical things in life that we may forget some of the things that bring us a lot of joy and I think it's great to make time for that. It really, really can heal you from a lot. This is one that we've probably seen everywhere and heard everywhere, but take care of your skin. Um, I think it's a really good way to not only help yourself feel healthier and help your skin feel healthier, but also give you a sense of relaxation. For example, 
After school or after a full week of assignments or tests, I love to come home and just put a really cool sheet mask on my face and just lay there and sketch or watch my favorite show. It's it's really, really comforting and a great way to relax and take care of yourself. Two next very important things, stay hydrated and take any supplements that you require to take or just anything that helps you maintain a healthy and balanced diet. So drinking water can help your brain function and keep your skin healthy, help your organs function. All of these things are very key to helping you stay healthy. I know we see it all over the media about exercising and getting our body moving and that exercising helps keep you healthy. While it does, and it definitely, I mean it absolutely does, I personally just like to think of it as getting fresh air, moving and feeling present in your body is the best way to feel healthy. Whether that be dancing or yoga, whatever works best for you, it doesn't have to be cardio or some heavy form of exercise. Whatever gets your body moving, gets your heart rate up, and gets you breathing is what will help you. Getting outside and moving can actually help you appreciate more of nature's beauty because you tend to take notice of the trees and the sky and the birds and the animals. Everything becomes very obvious to you, the beauty in nature. And I definitely think it can help you with your easing your mind and helping you feel a bit more at ease. Sometimes we get caught up in maybe ranting our emotions out on the media, on social media, on Instagram, Snapchat. Or we may feel like we're burdening our friends when we tell them all of our worries. If any of those things do trouble you, journaling is the best way to ease your mind. You can ease your mind from worries or stress or just help you be a little bit more grateful. You can write down what you're grateful for, what happened that day that was amazing, or you could write down what's troubling you. It really is essential to maintaining your mental health because that is equally as important as your physical health. This tip is directed towards people who may not necessarily have a huge passion or a hobby. Um, you might just like to do something that makes you feel good. It may not be a hobby, but just something you do once in a while that makes you feel like a really good person, makes you feel a lot more stable and secure in your life. Perhaps something responsible, you could say, like cooking or cleaning or baking, gardening. Um, you might see maybe some of those things like chores, but if you turn and look at it as something that can help you feel good and feel independent and in charge and in control, that could really give you a sense of relief in your life and relieve your stress a little bit. If you're enjoying this video so far, do make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Um, give this video a like if you'd like more videos similar to this, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them down below in the comments. my 
last tip, which is to nourish yourself well. This means giving your body all the nutrients that it needs to function at its best, having regular small meals a day or having few meals but each one contains all of the nutrients that you need, drinking your water, taking your vitamins or supplements if you have any, is very key to keeping your body physically healthy. Oh, one last tip. My last and final tip, surround yourself with good people, good company, good friends, people who make you laugh and smile every single day and who are healthy for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Take care of yourself, stay healthy, love yourself and I will see you all in my next one.